it's, an, it's important to know the signs of skin cancer, so how can you tell if a freckle or a mole could be worth a second look? Dermatologists have a method that involves the alphabet. How have you been? Good. Good. Charles Cure is getting a thorough exam on his skin at Moffitt Cancer Center, having every freckle and mole on his body and head examined. Over the past few years, he's undergone treatments after a melanoma was discovered on his back. It's evidently something that was there a long time ago. In my case, it really spread quite a bit and I'm just very fortunate to be here. After a first melanoma, you have a risk of a second melanoma that is like 10 to 25 times higher than the normal population that never had a melanoma. Dermatologists turn to the alphabet when checking for those suspicious spots. We like to use the A, B, C, D, E rule uh, for a freckle. A stands for symmetry. When one half is different than the other one. B is for border. When the borders are not symmetric. C is for color. So when a mole has more than one color, we like to see like round, brown moles, but if you see like red or two tones of brown, it's a mole that needs to be evaluated. D is for diameter. When the size is larger than a pencil eraser, uh, it's also a red flag in a mole or a freckle. And E is for evolution. When a mole starts changing growing, becoming raised, bleeding, or becoming itchy, it needs to be evaluated. Charles says being proactive is life-saving, too. See your doctor and uh, follow up and take care of yourself. And the doctor says she tries to avoid removing anything that is benign. For more information about when to get those moles checked, we've posted a link on fox13news.com. Just look in the Care For section. By the way, Moffitt's Mole Patrol will be hosting a free skin, head, neck, and oral cancer screening on Saturday, July 31st. It starts at 9 a.m. at the Pier 60 Pavilion on Clearwater Beach.